Hi, I'm Paul Asbell, and I am representing the Archtop Foundation while talking about each one of these Scott Chinnery Blue Guitar Collection guitars. And uh, this is one built by Brad Nickerson, and it's called an Equ it's The model of it is his Equinox Custom. And a couple of interesting things, just visually, before we talk about it sort of musically and functionally, visually, one of the interesting things is, like all of these guitars, they began with a certain blue dye. In theory, they all really wound up with the same blue dye, with the possible exception of Tom Rebecca's. But this guitar, clearly, you know, that, that color there is clearly what it began with. And in fact, there you can see it as well. But on the front, it's really kind of browned out in a way. I actually find it attractive, um, but the blue has definitely kind of aged, whatever you want to call it. Part of it, of course, is just the orangey wood grain color kind of comes through more over time. But I also suspect that just it's been, it's seen some sun and seen some light fading. And so therefore the blue has probably just kind of faded and it's now a little closer to brown. Again, I actually find it a kind of attractive um, aspect. The uh, tailpiece is really kind of stunning. You sort of have to see it, but um, the carving of it and the delicacy of it is really, really nice. Uh, of course, it's the same idea as some of the others in which there's a weight relief aspect. In other words, a certain amount of the wood is cut away so that it just doesn't weigh that much. Um, that's a good thing for a guitar, and but he's also made it so that it's really a very nice design feature. And um, otherwise, it's fairly spare in its basic, uh, uh, you know, construction and uh, its design. The headstock actually is one of the few really unusual aesthetic ideas here because there's a blue parrot and that of course fits in with the blue guitar collection concept. It's set into what looks like rosewood uh, headstock veneer. And uh, it looks really like it's taken from, and it, it, the engraving is extremely detailed. I actually suspect he may have gotten it from an old book or something like that, like a botany book or whatever, and, and kind of made it into a, an inlay. It's beautiful really a nice touch. At any rate, it's a very, very nice guitar. Uh, I've been playing mostly jazz-oriented stuff on most of the other guitars, but this guitar particularly, uh, when you strum a G chord, you hear a very familiar flat top sounding sound, which just sounds quite different than the typically mid-range uh, punchy sound that arch tops tick typically have. So as soon as I picked it up, I hit a G chord and I thought, oh, I should be playing something kind of folky on it. And the kind of long sustain and uh, musicality of it really strikes me as being more like uh, a flat top than an arch top, which is not a bad thing in my book. And actually, interestingly enough, Brad is, uh, describes his uh, practice as he builds steel string acoustic guitars, which generally means flat tops. So I have a feeling he builds as many, if not more, flat tops and arch tops. Nice guitar.